everybody. Alongside Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. We welcome you ringside for a much-anticipated bout. Let's set the table for you and get ready to dish up this big night of action. They're scheduled for 12. Here's round number one. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. Oh, he just Ooh. ate a big uppercut right there. He had no idea it was coming his way. He does not look good at all. And he's just not engaging in the fight. He clinches again. Good uppercut by Evander Holyfield. So he goes down for the first time, but you can just get a sense that he's going to be okay. It doesn't look like he's that damaged. No, exactly, Joe. That was just a brush fire, but he doesn't want it to become a forest fire. So he's got to think in his head, why did I get caught? Now he ties up there. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Teddy, most ringside experts feel that this is very much going to be a tactical fight. Yeah, both these guys throw punches like they're paying for them. And guess what? They're both cheapskates. Back to the body. Power puncher versus the high stamina fighter. How does the high stamina fighter want this fight to unfold as it goes longer? Well, the high stamina fighter, what he wants to do is he wants to get a lead. Get the lead, go out there quick out of the gate, and then later on you have the power puncher looking for one shot at a time. He's going to be searching them all night, and he's never going to find them. To the belt line he goes with a left hand. Good smooth work by Briggs. That's classic counterpunch. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Good accurate work there after blocking that blow. And the round comes to an end. We did have a knockdown in that round. Now, Teddy, if you're in the corner where your man was down on the floor, what are you telling him? Well, the first thing that I do is I sit him down. I get water on the back of his neck. You know, I bring him to a sense. I make sure that he's clear and everything. And then I tell him why he got his backside put on that canvas so he can correct it. And he doesn't go out there and get caught again with the same punch. Riggs is out to show everybody that he's fine. But we saw what happened in the last round. He was knocked down in that last round. Does he have to prove something to himself as well as proving something to everybody in this arena? Well, that's the right question. So he's got to revisit his memory banks a little bit and know that he's already proven it to himself. He's been in this position before. So he has to regain that confidence and understand that he can deal with this. He's done it before. Huge right hand from Holyfield. Good solid shots with the combo downstairs. Nice, nice. Devastating blow by Evander Holyfield. Halfway through round number two. The cannon's able to land a good solid left hand. He commits to the hook and he scores with ease. A stabbing right hand comes in by Briggs. What does a fighter need to do to really build a foundation to a great career? Well, first of all, they have to have the desire to have that great career. There has to be something in them. There has to be coal in that furnace to burn and to burn later on. Maybe something happened to them in their life. Wow! Remember earlier he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. One, two. Holyfield's going to keep taking this test, rising up after being knocked down. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. Head hunting never hurt, does it with the hook. 
Riggs is in the spot he wants. Now he takes a respite after just scoring the knockdown in that last round. Yo, you feel good, just like if you're a lawyer in a courtroom and the judge just sustained your objection. You know what? You're winning. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Hey, you gotta see that coming. Now let's go. Holy Fields defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Riggs has got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. Holy Fields doing a beautiful job here early on of counter punching. Yeah, it's going to pay off for him later on. You know, we talk about body work paying off for you down the road, like investing, putting money in the bank. Well, counter-punching pays off, too, because your opponent becomes a little tentative, and then down the stretch, he's not busy enough. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Like a sledgehammer, that uppercut by Evander Holyfield. A demolishing right hand by the cannon. You're okay. Stay with me here. A leveling uppercut by Briggs. Briggs is, and yet another big shot comes in. He was able to get up and continue on last time. Now he goes down again. Briggs is a knockout victim. He couldn't beat the count. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockouts, your winner, Evander, the Holyfield. Evander Holyfield is able to come up with a shocker here. Out of nowhere, early on, a knockout victory. And does it with one shot that he never saw. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great evening.